hi, and welcome to the Chaotic Good Guide for Myths of Tierna Scythe. Keep in mind, good guides mean they're quick guides. If you need a more in-depth guide, go back to my Chaotic Neutral Myths Guide, and that is an in-depth guide. We are just going to go over the three bosses, uh, and I will show you the route. Please pause on this route if you need it. I will also link the route down below for you to plug into your Mythic Key add-on. The first boss I call Tree Boy and Friend. I immediately jump in and interrupt the small little mob so he turns with the tree to me facing the back. This keeps my melee in range out of the zone for this blast that it's going to do that will disorient people. And it allows them to melee cleave or AOE cleave them both together since they are now standing together. When the little guy starts to do this forsworn darkness around him, I move to the side just a bit and I move the tree boy a little bit with me. That way if I have melee, we are not in the damage zone. Once the tree gets to lower HP, it's going to start dropping Tears of the Forest, which are blue puddles. You just avoid them. Don't stand in blue stuff on the ground. Your healer will hate you. After temporarily defeating this tree, pour all your damage, all your big cooldowns into the little mini mob. If you can one phase him, that means you are big pumpers. Congratulations, you've done it. If not, it's okay. Just rinse and repeat. Go back to Tree Boy and repeat these exact steps. Our second big boss here is Miss Caller. She plays a pattern game that you had to complete to even get to her. I will show a little mini pattern cheat sheet above that you can pause and use to try to figure it out. Tanks! You have one very, very important job here, and that is Patty Cake. She is going to cast a spell called Patty Cake, and if you do not interrupt it, she will disorient you and one-shot one of your squishies. That is literally your main job here. Just interrupt the Patty Cake. I, I don't want to hear excuses. Just do it. Freeze Tag is when she sends out a little Vulpian Wolf that is going to freeze anyone it touches. Use CC, Hexes, in prison to keep it busy. It's very good to communicate with your team before you start this boss who's going to CC and when. Dodgeball is when she sends out damages in a targeted direction marked on the ground with an arrow. Just dodge the ball. Finally, when she reaches certain health checkpoints and percentages, she does Guessing Game, which is the exact same as that puzzle. You're going to kill the different pattern moth, the one that is unique and unlike the others. If you kill the wrong moth, it will do a bursting AoE damage that will pretty much wipe your entire team, unless you are a Demon Hunter tank and you pop your last resort. And then you're alone, standing there. Sad. The last boss is my beautiful, gorgeous wife, Tradova. And I've been up all night lately, thinking about you, about you. Tradova's going to do an acid expulsion first. Uh, when you move, she memorizes where you moved and will send acid there again the next time. So you need to make sure you don't move around too much or you're screwing over your entire team. Immediately after acid expulsion, I like to say this is the tank's job, she does a parasitic infection, which you kick every time. As a tank, I can let you know your kick is up every time for parasitic. You should not miss it. If you do not kick this, it infests in one of your teammates and mind controls them and they're probably going to die. Healers and DPS should focus on interrupting consumption and run away when they have mind link in order to break the link. Because your tank has to stand there and tank her, your tank should not be focused on running away. That's your job. She will also periodically send out tiny gromlings that will attack a random target. In our case, the random target is always our randomly targeted healer. Try to help your healer out. Use Sigil of Chains. Use your Elysian Decree on them. Hop on them to still aggro back. Anything to help your healer out. And that was our super fast guide. Already done. Look at that. If you want a more in-depth guide about the mobs and trash in this dungeon, what my talents were in my build, go ahead and check out that chaotic neutral guide for mists. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, if you know something that I don't know or you know a cool hack or something in mists, please, please, please comment it down below. I love trying new runs and I love trying out new builds. It is so much fun to do the dungeon with a different perspective. That's all. Bye-bye.